Hello, everybody. This is Mike Clay and Sue Bell with Network Empire, and we are introducing the new killer keyword tool. Hey, Sue, how are you doing today? Fantastic. Thanks so much for having me, Mike. Hey, you know what? These are the fun ones when we just jump in real quick to do a quick video to show people things. And you know what? This video, because of where we're going to use it, it's not just the family and friends. It's not just the people that are already on the inside playing around. Um, Sue, so would you just take a second and just tell us a little bit about what we have here at Network Empire? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're a team. We've been around for about 10 years now. And we have created some of the, what I consider to be some of the most amazing software. Um, we've released Kraken and TLKT. And at this point in time, we're releasing the pro and agency versions of the killer keyword tool. And you, you just named two pieces of software, but it's not just two pieces of software. For all the new people, it's, it's multiple WordPress plugins, uh, multiple training courses, live certification events, um, the only market analysis, digital market analysis tool on the market, and and now one of the, the absolute best keyword research tool I have personally ever seen, and I've been around for, you know, a couple of years. Not quite as long as, as you have, but I, I've been in the industry for a while, and, and this is the new keywords tool is just epic. Um, why don't you just kind of dive down the rabbit hole and tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So this all started about three years ago when I met the guy who has to be the absolute world's best SEO guy, Jimmy Kelly. And together with Network Empire, we have created many beautiful pieces of software, but I have to say that this particular piece of software is the one that I am the most excited about, our new killer keywords tool. And you can see some of the screens there, some of the screenshots. Yeah, we're, we're going to dive into some of the screens here in a second. Um, but you know what? Here's what I love about this. It, it, it's really like, if y'all remember that old commercial where you have the two cars heading towards each other, one guy's eating a chocolate bar, the other guy's eating out of a peanut butter jar, and they crash, and you have peanut butter and chocolate coming together to make the ultimate candy. Well, that's, that's what this is. The, the, the new killer keyword tool, it's, it's where SEO and software have just slammed together and have come together. And the results that we are seeing is we now have automated SEO knowledge. And I'm so excited. It's going to save me hours and hours a week just to have access to this kind of stuff. Indeed. In fact, this is the thing that I'm really excited about because now you don't have to be an SEO guru to uncover all the deep dark secrets to know what's going to work, right? To know which keyword you should be using to make money with or which keyword you should be using for inbound links or whether or not this is the right keyword for you. What we're talking about is decision insurance. So the problem that I have always faced is you select a keyword, it looks good on the outside, right? It looks like it's not terribly competitive. It looks like there's a lot of searches. You spend the time and money to rank for it. And then what if it doesn't convert? What if, what if you put a lot of time and money into it and then when it comes down to it, you can't actually get on the front page? All of those things become null and void with this piece of software. You're going to know exactly the best keyword for exactly whichever situation it is in the whole website creation and ranking scenario that you're doing. Which keyword to use for your domain name. Which keywords you need to avoid Panda, to avoid Penguin. All of this is contained in this tool. It's a little bit like being able to plug in to Jimmy's brain. Well, and, and, and going back just to, just to have a second, I mean, it's you, what you're saying is the update 
I mean, TLKT, it got updated and became the keyword tool. And now you've added a bunch of new screens and, and a handful of new options to get deeper and better data, or, or not even really better data, but to, to be able to understand the data you're getting at a higher level. And now we're able to find exactly. what the domains we should use, what, what supporting article keywords we need, what are the, are the best themes, what should we use for our silos and all that kind of stuff. All of that is in the new killer keyword tool, right? Exactly. And so now, now for a limited time, what you've done is, is you've gone back to your team, your programmers, and you've let us just plug directly into Jimmy Kelly's brain. Exactly. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is because now you can experience – Ranking with the same ease that he does. That, that's, that is so much fun. Well, let's dive into it. Walk, walk me through what Absolutely. we're looking at here. Here's the new profit report. Absolutely. Walk, walk me through it. All right. So the profit res report is designed to show you which keywords are going to be profitable on your website. So as you can see here, we've got three columns. I mean, obviously, you've got the keywords too, but we've got articles, we've got difficulty and we've got estimated annual profit and the articles column gives you an idea of how many related articles the top ranked sites have on their websites and so what that does is it gives you an idea of how much content you're looking at to be able to compete with those guys because there's a symbiotic relationship between the articles on your page and the number of inbound links that you need now there's also this idea of the quality of inbound links so as we look at the difficulty column. This is a combination of quality and quantity. So how easy or difficult is this going to be? And this is everything from easy to very difficult. So now you can look at those two things and you can go, okay, I need a whole bunch of content or I don't need too much content. That's going to cost me X. And then if the difficulty is very difficult, then obviously that's a whole lot more money in off-site content and inbound links in creating that whole scenario that you need in order to be off-site, in order to be able to rank. So you've got that balance of what you need on-site, what you need off-site, and then your estimated annual profits. Now this is calculated not just from pay-per-click concepts, but as you create this report, you get to put in your estimated profit per sale, and then the estimated conversion factors, and this is going to calculate then the estimated profit for each keyword. How profitable is that keyword for you? Now obviously you have to look at the keywords. You have to make sure that those keywords are actually part of your USP. They're important for your marketing. But this gives you a really easy way to just look at the page. You can look down the page and go, okay, these are going to be easy. These are going to be the easy. This is going to be easy. This is a keyword I really want. And okay, I can go for that. I've got the expertise to be able to, well, I think I do. Okay, maybe I need a little bit deeper look into that particular keyword to see exactly how competitive it is. And that brings us to the next screen. Well, and, and here's what I really like about this. Having this data just lets you laser focus your, your marketing and your labor because there's, there's work involved, but now you're able to target your labor to target where the money's at, and you know how much labor you're going to need to get to the money. I, I love it. That that's exactly awesome job. All right, give give me the deep inspection. Walk me through the deep inspection. All right, so so this is where you take a deeper look to see exactly how difficult it's going to be to rank for these keywords. We've got the top five competitors for, in this case, the keyword life insurance quote. We've got rank authority, domain quality, relevant pages, and on-page factors. So let's start with the rank authority. The rank authority gives you an idea of exactly how hard you're going to have to push. So this is a scale from 1 to 100, and it's based off of page authority, domain authority, and the percentage of relevant pages. But all three of those things, like, it's difficult to weight those factors. So this is how Jimmy looks at it and how he gauges how difficult it's going to be. So don't think about it along the same lines as page authority and domain authority. Just think about it in terms of 
this is going to be, you know, under 30 is going to be pretty easy, over 30 is going to be more difficult, and over 70, I probably want to leave it alone, there are easier markets. So, so the rank authority gives you an idea for how difficult it's going to be to push. The domain quality is a combination of trust and citation flow, and it tells you the quality of the inbound links for each of those sites. So you can look and see, okay, these guys, not only do they have a really high rank authority, these guys in first place, they're Metal Life, not only do they have a pretty decent rank authority, but they've also got really high quality inbound links. So that's going to kind of give me pause. Now, the only thing I can say about that is that the number of on-page content isn't ginormous. You've only got 45 pages. So, so that's when you start to look down the, the list a little bit and you can see that at the very bottom you've got somebody with a rank authority of 54, somebody who's inbound links, they're not as squeaky clean, uh, but they have more content and so that's, that's why they're on the list there at that point. So you can take a look through those lists and you can judge better whether or not you can slide in above position 5 or maybe you can slide in above position 4 because position 4 has only got a rank authority of 17. They've got really good inbound links but they also don't have a lot of on-page content so maybe sliding in there between position 3 and 4 is a good place for you. It all starts to depend on how what your level of SEO is, but at least this keys you in as to exactly how difficult it's going to be. So then the final section on this page is the on-page factors. And this is showing you um, whether the keyword is partially in the URL. For example, in this case, we've got three words, life insurance quote. So if it says partial, then maybe one or two of those words are in the URL, but not the whole thing. Whether or not it's in the title, whether it's in the H1 or the H3, the H3 is shown to be, in our testing, to be um, more important than the H2, and whether or not it's contained within the body and, and what the keyword density is actually on page. So all of this gives you an idea of how tightly SEO'd those pages are that sit on the top because Kelly is, or Jimmy has noticed that um, some keywords that are particularly, have a particularly high cost per click are very sensitive to over-optimization. And so in this regard, you can see how tightly over-optimized they are and you can follow a similar pattern so that you can avoid a suppression penalty. Nice. Avoiding penalties is always a good thing. Right? No one wants to get penalized. That's exciting. And I, I love this because normally to get this information, you're going to have to have subscriptions with multiple companies to, to be able to look at it. And then you still don't have the mindset of Jimmy to, to say, okay, here's the data you got from all these other companies. Now, how do you use that data or how do you break that data down? into an actionable mindset and here inside the killer keyword tool you you've already broken it down you you've you've given us the most relevant content really fast and you've broken down the data points to where it's easy to see what actionable processes we need to throw into place i mean it's can, can we go after this keyword yeah it looks like it we just need to have some good backlinks and 30 to 40 relevant pages in there, and we should be able to get in there right below number three is what it looks like. Yep. That's so exciting. Sue. So. It's the maze. Just think for a minute what it would be if you didn't have access to this. You could be wandering the eternal maze of SEO hell, trying to decide if the keyword that you're choosing is something that you can even hope to rank for, and if you manage to rank for it, will it make you money? This software provides that decision insurance so that you can know exactly what it is that you're getting into, um, whether or not you want to go down that path, and so well, I would like to invite, uh-huh. And then this is where most of us have been. Right. I, mean, I you know, even, even me starting out, I mean, I, I've, I've gotten better over the years, 
and don't live here now. But but I remember wondering the maze going, oh, that looks like a good keyword. Let's go spend three weeks working on it to just find out there's no way in the world to rank for it. Because, I mean, how many yep. of us starting out five to ten years ago wanted to rank for discount travel, right? <laughs> it, so, so but, but we've all done it. And, and I use discount travel as, as the example, but we've all tried to rank for something that we had no business playing with because we were – we were just mindlessly wandering a maze trying to figure it out, hit or miss. With the, and the philosophy most of us used was if we throw enough the wall, something's going to stick. And what we've done now is we've, we've just kind of – we've taken that away. You know, just all you have to do is just let us save you from the hell of wandering that maze and just – Click the button below. Come on in. Come join us. Come hang out with us. Any last words, Sue? Before it's too late. Before it's too late. <laughs> we'll see you on the inside, guys.